pretty comfy. Next thing, I'm assuming we need to pull out these straps. All right, that looks pretty good. Next up, stuff that in there. Is that it? Is that it? No, it's not it. <laughs> Forget about this part. truthful here we never wear these backpacks as backpacks and there's two reasons reason number one the wheels are so nice to have super amazing and the second reason is because we carry other backpacks Brian carries a big backpack with camera gear you can see that video here if you want to check out our camera bag and then I carry a cute little leather backpack with my laptop in it so it's been really nice to have such good wheels Woo! Hey yo! You've been asking for it and we're gonna give it to ya. Yeah, this is the Osprey Sojourn 45 liter update. We've been using this bag for, ah, oh, boom. We've been using this bag for about nine months now. <laughs> Bumper bags. Bumper bags. Um, yeah, so because we don't generally walk with these bags, what we did was filled them all the way up with most of our stuff that we would carry on a normal basis. We're not leaving here, so it didn't make sense to um, put all of our things in them, but they're pretty heavy. We've stocked them up and we decided that we're gonna walk around our neighborhood and what temperature is it's hot. So I just checked the weather and it's 31 Celsius out, but it feels like 37 Celsius with 66% humidity here on Bonaire. Yeah, it's pretty warm. So we decided we're gonna walk around our neighborhood because we had a lot of questions about how the straps feel, how's the back support, how's the lumbar support. Lumbar. Very technical about body parts. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna take these puppies out for a spin and let you know how they feel when you're walking in the hot heat. <laughs> so first off, um, I've never actually worn this traveling at all. And the reason being is because normally I have uh, a low pro backpack on that holds the camera gear, the laptop, and all the cables and stuff. Oh, big hole. <laughs> all the laptops and everything. Uh, well, my laptop at least. You've got a bag that you carry with your laptop. And we find that carrying this bag, this Sojourn 45 liter, seems to be easy to just pull around. Yeah, you don't really need to carry it if you have another bag. If you wanted, you could just roll it around pretty much anywhere. We've rolled it on all kinds of surfaces and it's been super easy. Yeah, so let's go ahead and take a few questions uh, from <laughs> yeah. our original video that you can watch right here if you haven't seen it yet. That is actually going to take you through all the compartments, um, how everything's laid out in the bag and everything like that. Um, this review is strictly our thoughts about this whole thing. It's not sponsored by Osprey. Um, so However, yeah. if you want to sponsor us, Osprey, we'd be cool with that too. So the first question came from one of our viewers, Nancy Davis. Thanks for this question. She says, I'm curious to know if the retractable pull handle has held up for you. I love the idea of a pool backpack, but fear it breaking during a long trip and having no other option but to carry it on my back. That is an awesome question because we have rolled these 100% of the time through airports, down streets, across weird terrains. I've even pulled it behind the scooter just to be funny and the wheels continue to roll just fine. And so that's 
Another reason why I just don't use the shoulder straps. So far the handle has been super sturdy. Aaron is pretty rammy whenever it does come to the handles. Sometimes it just comes out smooth and sometimes it just, it doesn't. Uh, but I think it just has to do with pressing the button on it. But so far the handles have been super, super sturdy and we haven't had any problems with them. <laughs> this one makes me laugh every time. BLK Girl Trucker, I think is this person's name, said first thought. 25 minutes? No! <laughs> Second thought, they're kind of fun and cute. All right. Third thought, oh, this is informative AF. Yes! <laughs> Not really a question, but <gasps> I thought I'd share that one because I liked it so much. So another question came from Ronald Christie in the comments and he says, I would like to know if this model of Sojourn 45 liter would do under the seat of passenger, of the passenger of the plane. It seems to me uh, big for the compartment of smaller planes. Uh, and then he named uh, some specific airplanes. Yeah. So the thing about this pack is it is actually rated as a carry-on yep. for most airlines. So something to consider is whatever airline you're traveling on, you gotta see what their compartment sizes are. They're not all created equal. So far we've carried this on several different airlines and put it up in the compartment above. Yep. It does not fit underneath the seat in front of you. It does yeah, not. I think that would really depend on how much stuff you stuff into it. At full capacity, this bag is fat. At like a smaller capacity, the compression straps will tighten it quite a bit and you totally could fit it in a smaller plane's overhead compartment. I don't know about the seat below you. Um, I would really shoot for the overhead. Tracy Fulcher says, you guys are so cute. Thanks, Tracy. Uh -huh. I've been reviewing a lot of backpacks and the Sojourn is the in the top two so far. How about a laptop and Canon camera with lenses? Any thoughts on where or how to pack these in this backpack? Um, you could totally do that. They would, they would fit in the bag. There's no special compartments for it. So you may consider getting like a small camera bag that has those Velcro compartments. Like little so, dividers. Yeah, with the dividers so that your lenses are safe. Um, I don't know if I just like toss them in the bag. There are really nice like zip compartments on the side, but if you were to put um, your lenses in those zip compartments on the outside, consider that the bag is gonna get tossed around a lot at the airport. So you may want to wrap your lenses in like a towel or a thick scarf or something. <laughs> I don't know, be resourceful, whatever you carry. Could hockey be. socks. Hockey. If you're like going to the mountains, some big woolly socks. If you're going to the Tube beach, socks. maybe a sarong or something like that, you could wrap it in. Sang Bui asks, what trips or occasions did you have to use it as a backpack? I'm deciding whether to get this or just bring a suitcase for a round the world one year trip. First of all, awesome if you're doing that trip. That sounds like such a cool idea. Second, the bag carries very nicely. Um, I've got the waist suspension strap on right now and I barely feel any weight on my shoulders because it's distributing the weight super, super nice. So it's 45 liters. You can totally carry it as a carry-on. You don't have to necessarily check it. Um, and I feel that this would hold plenty of clothing for a round the world trip. But something to consider is when you're going from one climate to another, like hot climates, you're not wearing as many clothes, but cold climates, the clothes are totally bulky. You may have to switch out the clothing that you're wearing. That's what we generally do, uh, is just switch out from one climate to the next. You may also want to check out our how to travel long-term video, where we share some really cool tips and tricks and just long-term travel in general. Blue Sun says, Hello, I would like to know if the Sojourn Osprey passes as a carry-on. 
That's a really good question. Um, yeah, it totally does. If you don't overstuff it, like we mentioned before, you wanna just make sure you give some wiggle room and you can get the compression straps to really make it small. But always check with your airline on weight of the bag and size of the bag before you plan on taking it as a carry-on because you may be disappointed if you are oversized. Here we go, we're off to the gate. And I gotta add also that um, carrying as a carry-on, a lot of airlines require you to have 10 kilos or less. Now, we've carried it on with 12 and 14 kilos before, but the airline was like, ah, you're not really supposed to have this much weight, so mm -hmm. you may consider uh, carrying a little bit less. Yeah, that lady made an exception for us because we were flying all the way from Texas down to Columbia, and she knew we had a long trek, and she said, you know what, just take them on. Scooteropia says, hmm, where do you put your water bottle? Seems like there's no convenient location for that. Also, when used as a backpack, the waist straps seem flimsy. Can it really support the weight while the shoulder straps just keep it in place? That's a good question. That's an awesome question. So on the outside of the bag, there's actually a daisy chain that's connected, and all you have to do is throw a carabiner through your water bottle and hook it through there, and it'll stay on the outside pretty nicely. And if you don't stuff the crap out of the bag, you might actually be able to tuck your water bottle inside the compression straps and cinch it down mm -hmm. as well as having it hooked with a daisy chain. I just always use a carabiner. Yeah. As for the waist strap, this is the first time that we've ever used it and so far the waist strap is not flimsy at all. I would oh, compare this great. to my normal backpacking backpack that has like a crazy suspension system in it. It's super, it's, it's padded, it's not super padded, but the way that it curves around my back and lumbar feels super, super solid and it's actually taking the majority of the weight off my shoulders and so it's doing its job. Yeah. For me, I wouldn't mind if this strap was located somewhere else because I'm a female and it would be nice to have it like maybe on my waist. I don't know if that would be helpful at all for the straps, but I don't love this strap. <laughs> but it's got a whistle on it. I gotta be honest, um, it has a whistle. That'll save ya if you need help. That'll save ya. So far, we've been from Texas down to Colombia, all through Ecuador. We rolled this bag through the Galapagos, in through Panama on a layover, across Curacao, just uh, in the airport, and then ended up here in Bonaire so far. So these bags have gone to quite a few places, and I haven't had any problems with the wheels yet. Uh, we've only had one problem with uh, the retention strap, like the compression strap holder. Uh, breaking on it, but that just keeps the, uh, the strap from flapping around, so it yeah. wasn't really a big deal. And I think uh, Osprey actually fixes those sorts of things. Yeah, they probably do. Another cool thing is these bags have been on all different types of transit. We have hauled them not just onto airplanes, but in taxis and on, have we taken boats. a moto? Definitely on boats. Um, Brian dragged it behind the scooter just to see how that would work. Definitely not the safest idea, but we just rolled it on the back of the scooter for hilarious purposes. I will say that it is actually really nice to be hands-free while you're walking around where you don't necessarily have that freedom when you are rolling the bag. It's not too bad to carry it on your back. Where the hell are we? <laughs> ah, I found it, around this way. <laughs> All right, let's continue our, our hike. How far do you think we walked? Probably halfway around the block. <laughs> These are pretty big blocks, though. They are pretty big blocks. They're putting up houses in here, cars driving around. Cars whipping around the hood. Yeah, that's what they do here in Bonaire. Just drive fast. Definitely drive fast. So we're almost all the way around the block, and so far, it wears really, really nice, this Osprey Sojourn. I'm liking it. Liking it so far. <laughs> if I was ever to have to use this as a backpack backpack where I'm not rolling it, which I haven't found a need for yet, 
yet. I would definitely feel comfortable walking several kilometers in this probably. I could agree. Good. That's pretty cool. Brian just showed me that this strap that I thought was kind of placed stupidly goes up higher. How's that look? That looks pretty good. Is that, do you think where it's supposed to go? Like it's a maybe it like sternum strap. brings, is this my sternum? Yeah. Most people have sternums. I didn't go to medical school. Yeah, I still don't really like how this strap feels. I probably could do without it completely, but for the purposes of this video, I'm wearing it. I don't know, I think it's just kind of like, I don't know, it feels like it's like, wow, it doesn't feel nice on my body, but the waist strap is totally fine. So undone feels better. I actually like that a lot better. For me, uh, like the straps come out obviously, but I don't really mind that. I like the freedom. <laughs> Girls like it too. We've almost made it back on our trek around the block. <laughs> That's a pretty big block. Yeah. I'm gonna count that as our workout for today, active rest day. That is an active rest day. I think, we, where did we go, maybe about 45 minutes? Yeah, we've been going. Not yeah. at a very fast pace, but we've had the bags on our backs and they're fairly heavy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think mine's probably 12 pounds. I think mine's probably about 10 kilos. I don't know kilos. What's <laughs> kilos? 2.2 .2 pounds per kilo. So these bags have seen a lot of places and gone a lot of miles. And all in all, the Osprey Sojourn 45 liter has been an amazing backpack. I wouldn't trade it for a bigger backpack. I really like it. I feel like it helps me keep my stuff downsized so I'm not carrying a ton of things. And just living more minimally is actually really freeing. All in all, those were some awesome questions. Yeah, so thanks everybody who asked these questions. We're super happy. Um, if we can help you and if you've used our links, we're gonna thank you in advance because every purchase helps us continue to create on this channel and help people out with good information. Yeah, and by using those links, it's no extra cost to you. Uh, we will earn a very small commission off of it, uh, but you could potentially get a discount depending on if they're running a sale at the time. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't yet, make sure you click subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified every time we come out with a fresh video. And if you want, share it with a friend. Yeah, yeah. And until next time, friends. Adventure on. Adventure on. Bye. love to know if this model ah. of 45 liters. No, no, no! <laughs> My hat blew away! <laughs> I need to wear my chin strap walking. <laughs> What's going on there? My hat blew away. It is windy like crazy today here on the Bonaire. On the Bonaire. Ow! Oh my gosh. What was that sound? <sighs> oh, I understand. That went straight through it. Nice. Ooh. Oh, prickles here. Yeah. Now I don't want to put my foot down. <laughs> I think I need like steel shank flip flops for this place. <laughs> Rolls like a champ. <laughs> Easy to handle while straps are tough. <laughs> wait, wait. Easy to handle while straps are safely stowed inside the backpack. <laughs>